Hello, in this session we will discuss a question on radius of curvature for polar curve. So, you see that the question is show that the equiangular spiral that is r equal to a times of e to the power of theta times of cot alpha where both a and alpha are constants rho by r is going to be a constant so basically we should look for radius of curvature and also the equation of the curve is in the polar form so the radius of the curvature for polar form which is in general given as r square plus r1 square to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r times of r2 now with r equal to a times of e to the power of theta cot alpha if we take log on both the sides we will have log of r equal to log of a plus log of e to the power of theta cot alpha so this is actually log r equal to log a plus now this log and exponential function are inverse of each other so we'll simply get this expression as theta times of cot alpha now let us say that we are differentiating with respect to theta now so we will get 1 by r times of dr by d theta log a being constant so plus theta differentiation will be simply 1 so this is cot alpha as cot alpha will be constant with respect to theta so from here we can say that r1 is r times of cot of alpha let's say this is number 1 now if you have to differentiate this again with respect to theta we'll have r2 equal to differentiating r will be r1 times of cot of alpha that's it now there are no more term in the terms of theta now we can put the value of r1 here and that will be r cot alpha times of cot alpha which is r cot square alpha so r2 is r cot square alpha let's say this is number 2 now with r1 and r2 known we can look for the equation of radius of curvature that is r square plus r1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 so putting these values this is r square r1 is r cot alpha so plus r square cot square alpha to the power of 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square so that will be 2 r square cot square alpha minus r times of r2 so that will be minus r square cot square alpha now in the numerator 1 plus cot square alpha will be cos x square alpha so this term becomes r square cos x square alpha the square root of which the square root of which will be r cos x alpha and cube of that will be r cube cos x cube alpha in the denominator we have got 2 r square cot alpha minus r square cot alpha which will be r square cot square alpha so that is again r square times of 1 plus cot square alpha which will also be cos x square alpha so r square will also get reduced and we will have rho equal to r times of cos x alpha which gives rho by r equal to cos alpha and since alpha is a constant cos alpha will also become 
constant. So we can say hence rho by r is actually a constant. This is what was asked here. So we are done. Thank you.